morning to one and all so today we are taking the second part of uh, this is second part of uh, this is third chapter okay the first chapter no sorry this is we are dealing with the third chapter so third chapter had goes to two parts okay the first part we have seen that is his first flight okay so you might be remembering okay the story part of all things about that the sea gull okay that is about the first his first flight then the second part okay that is also is written by another writer okay different writer for the different topic but they come under the same chapter that is third that's why i have written three and the second this one is for the second part okay second part is this on the black aeroplane okay you know that is frederick for sith okay s y t h f o r s y t h for sith okay so here what is this a black aeroplane here the author himself is the captain in the aeroplane okay so he himself is the captain in the aeroplane and he is the only the narrator okay so uh, what the characters are very simple the narrator okay narrator then uh, that the aeroplane okay aeroplane and uh, that the uh, yes only so much okay so in this is we have to begin it so what this the narrator he wants to he was living away from his parents okay so one day he was returning back to his home okay by this he uh, flight but uh, during that time what happened means he may encounter a very i mean pathetic or a dangerous weather okay so that uh, that the air route was not clear okay nothing was visible okay therefore what uh, he faced a lot of difficulty but uh, he planned out okay to reach the uh, reach his family members and uh, attend as early as possible for the breakfast i mean before breakfast he wanted to reach that is his plan about his journey but to what to do there uh, was the problem and difficulty for the faced that he himself did not reach okay, but uh, how he encountered that is what we can see okay so this is the what is the nutshell of the story so uh, we shall go uh, from the page number 37 okay if you have this book can you take a page number 37 so here we go with the first paragraph of what this is page number 37 that is the black aeroplane okay so aeroplane you might be you might be knowing you know about the color of the aeroplane how it is okay very rare to find this is black aeroplane but then this is uh, how uh, why this is topic according to this topic and this is color of the aeroplane black aeroplane how it is connected okay so whether it is really a, it was a black aeroplane or not that we shall see as we go through the this topic okay is line by line and a paragraph by paragraph as we see okay so the moon was coming up in the east behind me and the stars were shining in the clear sky above me there wasn't a cloud in the sky i was happy to be alone high up above the sleeping countryside i was then i was flying my old dakota dakota means the what is the name of it is aeroplane okay dakota the photo the a k o t a name of the aeroplane okay now let us say aeroplane is what is the photo so it was old okay not new one it was old so what happened he was flying from he was flying in the old dakota aeroplane over france back to england okay so from france to england he was flying by his aeroplane aeroplane that is in dakota okay so it is clear that the this narrator or the writer was in france and he wanted to come back to his uh, homeland or his parents in england okay so 
also I was dreaming of my holidays and looking forward of being with my family. I looked at my watch at 30 now, 1 30 in the morning. Okay. So when he started his journey, he started his journey at 1.30. Okay. 1 30 a.m. Okay. 1 30 a.m. means it night. Okay. Night he began. That's why. And the problem I think he might have faced. Okay, nice he began at 1.30 a.m. Okay. So, I should call Paris control soon. Okay, because you know that the capital of France is Paris. Okay, so if he wants to fly. Okay, from there mentioned, he has to oh, what? He should uh, call Paris control. Okay, Paris control soon. So, I thought... As I looked down past the nose of the aeroplane, I saw the lights of a big city in front of me. I switched on the road, I switched on the radio and said, Paris Control, Dakota DS, okay? Dakota DS1, that's it, Dakota DS088, okay? This is the what? Number of that uh, aeroplane. Okay, so that is what uh, with this is he is uh, speaking. Okay, speaking to that uh, Paris control. Okay, that is this is the uh, number of my Dakota and I am flying from here. So I am on my way to England. Over. Okay, so he started his uh, journey. Okay, uh, from Paris to England. Okay, that is the meaning of uh, this uh, paragraph. In the next one, what is what shall? Uh, what happened? Let us see. The voice came from the radio, answer me immediately. Okay. DS 088. I hear you. You ought to turn 12 degrees west now. Okay. So DS 088 over. So they were communicating through the radio. Okay. During that time, it was not that much. Uh, they, they, what is called uh, as we have nowadays the mobile or say any. A sort of for any I mean advanced communication. Okay, gadgets were not available during that time. That's why they used to uh, communicate each other through the means of this radio. Okay, so through the radio, he also was advised to this narrator was advised by that control room to start his journey from the where? Okay, uh, from west. Okay, from west he was to start his journey. So, uh, he was in, we saw that the moon was coming up in the east, okay? Okay, moon was coming up in the east. So, he has to start his journey from the west. Okay, so, the next paragraph, let's see. I checked the map and, uh, sorry, I checked the map and the compass. Switched over to my second last full tank. Okay, and... Uh, Turn the Dakota 12 degree west towards England. I will be in time for breakfast, I thought. A good big English breakfast. Everything was going well. It was an easy flight. So, from west, he started his journey. Okay. So, he arranged all his compass. You know that what is a compass. Okay. And then, how did you spool to? Right now, how it is useful for this flight and the ship as well. Okay, for the direction, it is very, very important. So, uh, he arranged all the all the essential things before flying. So, he started 1.30 a.m. So, uh, he wanted to reach England or to his family members before breakfast. Okay, he wants to enjoy breakfast along with his family members. That is what he is intention okay and then he also thinks that so far that flight was safe or the journey was safe the Paris was about 150 kilometers behind me when I saw the clouds okay already he had crossed to 150 kilometers from Paris but he has not reached to England okay so strong clouds okay they were huge they looked like a black mountain standing in front of me across the sky. I knew 
I could not fly up over the over that okay. and I did not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north or south. Okay, so remember he started from where west. Okay, so okay, this one is east, this one is north, this one is south. Okay, and it's good. So he started from west. Then in this paragraph he encounters a very tragic experience. Okay, what he experiences? Already he had crossed 150 kilometers from Paris, but he has not reached to London. During that time, what he encountered? A black cloud in the sky. Okay, so it is it became very difficult for him to take the route ahead. Okay, that's why he said that one. It is very difficult for me to move even from where north or south. Okay, to both the direction it was very difficult. Okay, because the air route was not clear. So then what happens? Let's see. I thought to go back to Paris. Okay, I thought, but I wanted to get home. I want, I wanted that breakfast. I will take the risk. I thought and flew that old Dakota straight into the storm. Okay, so, but this is what is saying. Narrator. Okay, this narrator, he thought of going back to Paris. Okay, but at the same time also, he wants to enjoy. Okay, he wants to meet his family members. Okay, so his plan was to reach his family members before he passed. So, with a lot of difficulties and courage, still he proceeded ahead through that black cloud. Okay, so inside the cloud, everything was suddenly black. Okay, it was impossible to see anything outside the aeroplane. The old aeroplane jumped and twisted in the air. Okay, I looked at the compass, I could not believe, okay, I could not believe my eyes. The compass was turning round and round and round. It was dead. I would not work. The other instrument was suddenly dead. Too. I tried the radio. Okay, so what happened? The storm grew so furious. Okay, the storm became so furious. So when he flew ahead that time, this is what is this? Aeroplane was out of control. Okay, out of control. Then when he looked at the compass, okay, when he looked at the compass, and the other instrument also was not working. Everything became out of order. Okay, out of order. We see, this is not in. I mean, it's not working. Okay. So this is the problem he is faced in this problem. So then, even that he tried to communicate to the Paris control room, okay, through that radio. But the radio also was unfortunately not working. Okay. So in this pathetic time, okay, you might be remembering if you or me, if any one of us there in the place of that narrator, then what would be our feeling? Okay. So let's see. But he tried to communicate to the Paris control room through the radio. Then what happens? Let us see whether the radio was alright or not. That we shall see in the next part. Paris control room. Paris control room. Can you hear me? Okay. He is already who narrator is asking to the Paris control room. So there was no answer. The radio was dead too. Unfortunately, unfortunately the radio also was out of order. Okay. Dead means it was not working. Okay. So. So I had no radio, no compass. I could not believe where I was. Okay, I was lost in the storm, then in the black clouds, quite near, quite near me. I saw another aeroplane. It had no lights on its wings. Okay. So, now, but I could see the, it flying next to me through the storm. Okay. I could see the pilot's face turned towards me. Okay. So I was very glad to see another person. He lifted one hand and waved. 
Okay, so in this bar example, we see a type of water relaxation that is who faced, this narrator faced it. So in this paragraph, what did he try to communicate? This is Paris control room through the radio, but the radio also was out of order totally. It was not working. So what happened? Suddenly he saw yeah, another aeroplane. Okay, the captain was flying an aeroplane. Okay, but it had no lights. Okay, so without light it was flying. So imagine that. Okay, how it is. So uh, it was uh, flying without light, but the captain saw narrator and uh, just waved the hand. Okay, waved the hand and uh, uh, yes, uh, then uh, you see narrator was uh, very happy. Glad means what? Happy. Okay, I was very glad to see another person. He lifted one hand and waved. Okay, then uh, he was uh, extremely happy. Then, party, what happens? Let's see. follow me. He was saying. Follow me. He knows that I am lost. I thought he is trying to help me. Okay. He turned his aeroplane slowly for the north, to the north in the front of my double. Okay. So that I could see easier for me to follow him. I was very happy to happy to go behind the strange aeroplane like an obedient child. So here we see that one. This is what is this? Another captain, he is. He came in front of this narrator's aeroplane, and so that what he could see, this narrator could see and follow him. Okay, just he said that one. Okay, the another pilot. Sorry, ah, yes, another pilot said this narrator to follow him. Okay, so he without any hesitation or without any doubts, just like just like a, what a child. Okay, he followed it. Okay, obedient. Then, let's see. After half an hour, the strange black aeroplane was still there in, the, in front of me in the cloud. Now, there was only enough fuel. There was... Now, there was only enough fuel in the Dakota's last tank to fly for 5 and 10 minutes more. I was... I was starting to feel frightened again, but then he started to go down and I followed to the storm. Okay, so in this paragraph we see that one, this is narrator. Narrator, he has been following the another captain. Okay, another captain in the black cloud or let's say in the violent storm. But uh, what happens is, uh, he, he, he came to realize that uh, this is a... Uh, uh, what this in the tank the fuel was uh, only little okay it was only little and it could file on it could fly only for uh, five to ten minutes okay not uh, more than that okay but uh, anyhow he followed the other shaft uh, sorry uh, other pilot okay so uh, then uh, this is what uh, we have seen till the this is hung. Then the next paragraph part, let's see. Suddenly I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of lights in front of me. I was a runway. Now I was a runway, an airport. I was safe. I turned and looked for my friend in the aeroplane, in the black aeroplane. But the sky was empty. There was nothing there. The black aeroplane was going. I could not see it anyway. Okay. So suddenly he came out of the cloud and saw uh, two long straight lines. Okay. So fortunately in this paragraph we see that this is he came out of that line. Uh, sorry, came out of that black uh, cloud or let's say the violent storm and uh, landed in the runway. Runway means you know. This is okay for aeroplane water like this it will be there. Through where now on this it uh, through this route this aeroplane will land or else when it will uh, fly that time also it will go okay it will run I mean, I mean before flying it will run through some distance okay sorry it will run for some distance then only it will fly okay that is called water runway so he came to 
this is ran away. I mean, he landed in the where in the uh, this is aerodrome field. Okay, he landed in the aerodrome field. Then he was looking at the another flight. Okay, one who helped him. One one who helped him. The Mavic. Okay. So uh, this is what the we see in this part. Then let's see. I landed. Uh, I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota near the control tower. I went and asked the woman in the control tower center where I was and who the other pilot was. I wanted to say thank you. Okay. So what happened? This in this paragraph we see this. This is what is narrator. He landed safely where he wanted to land. So uh, then he he was searching for another. Okay, he was searching for another captain. Okay, sorry, another pilot who helped him. Okay, so he went to that the control room that the woman was woman was there. Okay, then he asked to where is the another uh, aeroplane. Okay, that is what we see in this paragraph. So. Again, little is there, dear students. Today we shall not complete it. So tomorrow, or else in the next class we shall complete. Okay, now from page number thirty-nine. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.